is good everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to the second episode of a weekly series on this channel where we predict every nfl matchup in that specific week and we also are going to be talking about uh, various other subjects but once again i'm joined by my co-host mr graves check his channel out in the description down below and let's go ahead and hop right into the score predictions because i don't want to waste any time this week let's get into it all right and welcome back everybody to the nfl score or schedule here for week two obviously last week we predicted all of the week one matchups and my co-host here mr graves has our overall records and they don't look too good for me but i'll let him read them off for you guys um uh, it's uh off week one uh i am 11 and 5 it's not that's which is terrible that's like... pretty bad that's pretty bad if i had to say so but <laughs> um but i don't feel too bad because some of the ones that i picked uh like, I did not expect my Giants to win, uh, so I'm pretty shocked with that. I did not expect the Bears to, uh, shall we say, slide on over the yeah. 49ers. But, uh, um, but then, uh, unfortunately, uh, you had a 7-9 and nine record, which, I mean, if you're in the NFC East, you could have won the division a couple years ago. But. Yeah. I think my record was uh, very skewed by heavy r rain and, you know, a couple injuries there. Um, yeah, and... Uh, a couple drops a couple yeah a couple it doesn't help when you drop touchdowns if you're a, a certain team with a very good quarterback that's going to cuss out your receivers afterwards um, uh, but, but hopefully yeah, it gets better good, this which, week yeah which week one is always the hardest because you never yeah. know who's going to show up like who expected the giants to beat the one seed in the afc yeah well they're, one they're probably going to be one in 16 now i mean the rest of now i'm uh -huh. just kidding saquon barkley looks good uh, but I guess we'll have to talk about him when we get to that matchup. Yeah. And um, but first, yep. we got Thursday night. Go ahead and Chargers lead it Chiefs. off with a big matchup here. And I, I'm very confident in the Chiefs this year. Yeah. I mean, uh, they looked amazing. They really did. There's like, I guess in the last one, I feel like all these teams are going to split at some point. And, well... I, I may not see the Broncos. I would have to see them a bit more. <laughs> but, uh, no, I, I think with this one, I'm going to go with the Chiefs just because it's at home. Um, and the Chiefs do look pretty much unstoppable because they just steamrolled the Cardinals in week one. The Cardinals, I don't think, are a bad team. Either. Yeah, I think the Cardinals, I mean, their defense might be a little bad, but uh, they're definitely at least a solid team. And for them to put up 44 on them, that's just a – a crazy dominant offensive performance yeah and uh, i mean i will say what was it justin herbert's rookie year when they played the chiefs they went like to the final second or into overtime yeah. or something like yeah, that i remember they i remember that game so it's going to be a, a shootout probably i mean the chargers yeah. only put up what they put up 24 last week against the raiders which is still good and yeah. they won but uh, i think the chiefs offense just might overpower them and one thing too with the Chargers, uh, Keenan Allen is going to be out tomorrow or today. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I don't have him on uh, fantasy this year. <laughs> I know I, I have Mike Williams, so hopefully, uh, Mr. Mike Williams well had a uh, zero points in like the third quarter last week. I know. I know <laughs> I, I was like, did Mike Williams get hurt or something? But all right, no, I think it should be a good game. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Yeah, same. This one. And uh, Steelers Patriots, where do you stand on the Patriots right now? I, I think the Patriots they get a lot of hate. I'm confused. Yeah, I, I'm confused by the Patriots. I really am. Yeah, I, this is the thing. I think they're gonna be good, but it's like I don't know. I feel like they they'll get wins like against teams they shouldn't. Yeah. And but they're gonna lose close games to teams that are at least good. Like last week, the Dolphins. Why did they beat him twenty to seven? Yeah, they, they beat him twenty to seven. I think the Patriots often struggle to get anything running or passing going against the yeah. Dolphins' but, defense. People were talking about how terrible Mac Jones was. He, well, yeah, he had the interception on the first drive and the fumble. Uh, I, but yeah, I think I have I to go. I think I have to go with the Steelers. Yeah, because um, uh, you can I'm go not ahead. sold on Mitch Trubisky. Uh, quite yet because he didn't look the greatest but he, he also didn't look bad he didn't do anything to lose in the game yeah. and the Steelers defense yeah I was just going to say Mac Jones looked decent not absolutely terrible I don't think he's as bad as everybody else said he was but the Steelers defense made Joe Burrow look like a bad quarterback for what two quarters two and a half quarters and yeah, um, uh, they're talking about like it's TJ Watt out but yeah. Steel, or Minka Fitzpatrick. Yeah, I still think their secondary is 
very good even i mean obviously tj watt doesn't have much to do with that so i think they've still got a really good defense yeah and uh i'm going with the steelers i honestly think that one could get kind of ugly if the patriots offense can't get it going because if they throw some interceptions and you know you get Najee harris on there you get some other defensive touchdowns again i think the patriots might go down by a lot yeah but at the same time if their uh, offense gets on track it could be a close game which have you seen any updates because i know mac jones had like a back injury or something um i Uh, have not seen whether or not he was going to end up playing i i assume he would because they said there's nothing wrong but apparently he's like day to day they're going to sit him the rest of the season it's a it's a loss (laughs) of a year but no apparently i saw six hours ago uh he's a full participant so i assume he will play well we'll just have to see how he does this week hopefully better than he did last week yeah then next we got the colts at the jaguars uh jaguars look better than i thought they would uh yeah against the commanders but the and the colts also look they looked worse than i thought they would yeah uh which, which is crazy because matt ryan played good and jonathan taylor played great yeah he ended up having I, a good just, game I, i'm gonna go with the colts still because i i think last week was probably one of those games that just was a weird fluke game yeah and i mean who knows maybe davis Taylor mills is just really good so maybe that's why yeah. they they came close to winning it and both teams ended up what tying it i think i don't think they ended yeah. up winning it was a tie uh which i think the jaguars will be competitive last week like trevor lawrence he only had one interception which is a yeah lot this week he'll throw like nine um and i can't support trevor lawrence but i, I think they're a decent <laughs> team yeah um, uh, but i'm gonna go with the colts yeah, same and um now we have your former favorite team the old uh, massage, uh, yeah. the massage special Browns <laughs> over here, and then the County New York Gerald Jets. Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, the Browns surprised me, which I mean, not really with how good Nick Chubb was, because he was pretty much the entire offense. Yeah. Um, I expect pretty much a repeat, and the Jets looked terrible. Like you put up nine points, the Joe Flacco yeah. throwing it sixty times. Yeah. Like, come on. It's gonna be tough uh, for the Jets this year. Yeah, unless Joe Flacco is like thinks he's a raven again and he's like oh the browns i remember when they went 0 16 and he like <laughs> shows that against them but i'm expecting the browns to win because jacoby Brissett played pretty good and nick chubb was great and the defense was great so yeah i'm gonna go with the browns here yep same on that one we pretty much have agreed on the entire left column both times we've done this so far um yeah. and now we have out of this column probably one of my more favorite matchups because i have lamar jackson in fantasy and the dolphins actually looked pretty good um defensively yeah. that's to say and uh, ravens or dolphins at ravens in this one yeah i i'm gonna go with the ravens uh lamar he looked pretty good passing it um completion percentage wasn't all there but he had three touchdowns only one pick and uh he he did cross 200 yards, right? Yeah, I believe he, like, he did. He ended up having like two, I think. yeah, 240, he, 250. He didn't run it a lot, which is a little strange, but uh well, also um, I think I think it's going to be interesting to see, you know, the Patriots defense didn't look nearly as good as they were last year, and uh it's going to be interesting to see how Tua can do against the Baltimore defense. Because yeah, they didn't really allow Joe Flacco to do much. Yeah. I like really, all it takes would be like Tyree Kill or Jalen Waddle, like we saw last week, to break something off big. But I just think Tua will probably have an interception. Yeah, he'll probably have. I, I'm like, I'll give him, you know, probably like one or two touchdown passes and maybe one or two interceptions. Yeah, um, I, I, I just think the Ravens, their defense is good enough, and Lamar, I don't know. I think he could bounce back to. I don't know if he'd quite be his MVP level, but the year after that, where he had. Yeah. Up, 26 touchdowns uh, i hope he goes back to his mvp level yeah. <laughs> for me but uh, uh wasn't it the dolphins where he broke out in his mvp game it, it might have been had, it might have been he had like five touchdowns and marquise brown had like three of them or something yeah. like that so uh um, obviously a different brown or yeah. dolphins team so both of us going with the ravens on that yeah. one and now we have uh broncos country riding on through a week one <laughs> loss in seattle versus the overperforming texans 
And I just realized, on a side note, I have an ad for the Cowboys Bengals game, and they spelled Bengals B E N G L E S. Um, <laughs> Interesting uh, spelling. Yeah, and it's it's a Paramount Plus ad, so uh, nice there. But anyways, um. All right, <laughs> who are you leaning for with this game? I I don't know actually. Man, I know th- this one's a lot tougher than it should be because on, on one hand, how- yeah. Uh, on one hand, uh, I want to say the Broncos are going to bounce back and be amazing this week, but on the other hand, they didn't look good at all. <laughs> yeah, like, I, man, part of me really wants to say the Texans. Yeah, I'm um, I'm very much leaning towards the Texans. I, I'm going to pick them. I'm going to pick the Texans here. Yeah, because uh, I don't want to agree with you on everything. Yeah, I don't want to agree with you on yeah. everything, but I do want to pick the Texans in this matchup. So I. Uh, I don't know. I just like the Broncos have so much potential. I feel like this week, you know, they could bounce back and have the best game of the season for them. And Russell Wilson goes off, but then I just have a hard time picking them after what they did last week. Yeah. Same. And um, next up, we have Bills Titans. Now, Titans are going to be terrible because if you lose to the Giants, you're a pretty bad team. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I think the Bills probably take this one. Yeah, they, they could so be the best team in the NFL this year just because of Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs and all those guys they have. Yeah, um, it, with how much of a blowout they had against the Rams, like yeah. the tight, the Titans, like they could bounce back, but the Bills' defense, I expect to get a couple turnovers off Ryan Tannehill. Uh, Derrick Henry got stuffed by the Giants' defense. So. Yeah. Yeah. Not expecting their day to go great, but you also got to remember, uh, wasn't it? It was Derrick Henry that steamrolled the tight or the Bills last year, wasn't it? Where he had like um, it might have been two hundred yards. It might have been. Maybe I, not I'm last not year. Sure. It was the year before, I think. I he, remember he had about stiff arm Josh Norman. Yeah, was that the game he had line. like the ninety-nine yard rushing touchdown? Was that against the Bills? I don't remember. Um, not yeah. sure. I know he had one a couple years ago against the Jaguars, but yeah, I it might have been against the like Jags. He, I think he had one. And that year where he, yeah, people were saying he should have won. I know he had one against the Ravens where he threw Earl Thomas like 40 yeah. feet across the field. <laughs> I but think he had about three of it. Yeah, and it's not like every week he had one of those plays. It just makes them look season. like children. So as long as he's playing yeah. good, they have a chance to win. But I, I really wouldn't choose against the Bills right now. Yeah, same. And um, now we get to our AFC versus NFC matchups this week. We have Raiders Cardinals first. I don't yeah. know. Both teams kind of were subpar. Disappointing. Last week. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say they were terrible, I'm, but they were very disappointing. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with the Raiders to bounce back here um, just because I feel like their team is more complete. Yeah. I, th- I think Devontae, lost by... De- Devontae Adams is a much better receiver than, you know, the. Don't they? I think they're still missing DeAndre Hopkins, aren't they, for yeah, a good bit of the season? Marquise Brown. And did AJ Green? I don't know if I really even saw if he did much of anything i am not I sure see. um but let's see what he did yeah which they only lost by five points to the chargers and that was with Derek Carr throwing three picks yeah and aj green ended up though. having two catches for 13 yards Jeez. so uh no he didn't do anything to answer your question <laughs> so um yeah i'm leaning raiders on this one as well yeah and uh now I, uh i Next thing, I know you want to pick the Cowboys again. No, uh, well, I but... definitely don't want to pick them this week. Uh, I feel yeah, like they had a chance to win that if, you know, Dak didn't. I was about to say if Dak didn't die. But <laughs> if Dak didn't get injured, um, they, I think they would have had a chance to win because the Buccaneers didn't look amazing. But, uh, I mean, yeah. they still lost at the end of the day. So it's just what ifs at that point. And I'm not going to pick them again, especially with who are they starting? <laughs> ben DiNucci, is he even still there? No, he's not even there. Cooper uh, Rush is that who yeah, they're Cooper starting? Rush. Goodness, I, I know Cowboy fans are calling for them to say this and at least start Will Greer. Yeah, but... um, at this point they might as well put Zeke Elliott at a quarterback or something. The Wildcats yeah, no. uh, <laughs> It'll be like the Broncos game a couple years. I mean, ago. the only the only thing they have to harp on is if Joe Burrow decides he wants to throw forty five interceptions in the first five seconds this week, then yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a bad game for the Bengals. But I think they probably yeah. win this one pretty easy. Um, yeah. I just think the Cowboys' offense might struggle to get anything going without Dak. Yeah, it seems like it would be the kind of game where the Bengals were able to, you know, kind of bounce back. Like, cause right now, the Cowboys, I mean, the way they look like 
Which is crazy to think because of how many playmakers they have, but right now they look to be like the worst team yeah. <laughs> in the NFL right now. Well, I mean, the Giants, despite the... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Yeah. No, my Packers are the worst team in the NFL right now. <laughs> um, no, I, I give the Jets that uh, yeah. trophy right now. <laughs> and I let's get into the NFC matchups now, and we will begin with uh, the, Vi- or the Vikings, the Saints, and the <laughs> Buccaneers. I, I just have the Vikings on my mind because they beat us. But two 1-0 and teams here. Uh, both of them yeah, won their and, week one matchups. And uh, maybe the upset here. I don't know, though. I'm going to go with the Saints, I think. Who did the Saints play last week? I can't uh, remember. The Falcons. They played the Falcons. Which, That's who it was. They beat them by one, but they they looked pretty good all around. They uh, Jameis Winston had two touchdowns. Michael Thomas had both of those. Um, yeah. Jarvis Landry had over 100 yards. Chris Olave had a good game. Yeah, I really... Taysom Hill looked I, like <laughs> their best player. I really maybe. don't want to agree with you on every single one, so I want to pick the Buccaneers, but I just wasn't impressed with how the Buccaneers played. Yeah, I, and, and you got to remember the Saints, like, have Tom Brady's number in the regular season, yeah, apparently. Yeah, I forgot they beat him every time they play, it seems like. Um, let me let my dog out. <laughs> He's begging to get out of my room. Um, so if you hear any chains dangling around in the background of this video or you see him jumping from the bed, that's that's my dog. Don't worry. Um, I'm not about to get murdered. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so right, now we have the... next up. Go ahead. You, you can announce uh, this one. A tough one for me to pick because I'm biased to both because Baker's my favorite player, but the Giants are my favorite team. So uh, kind of a tough one, which I don't know. Oh, this one is tough because I want to pick the Giants because they honestly look better. Yeah, I just feel like, like, part I, of me I feel like Baker got it. off to a really slow start. Yeah, which I feel like Baker, this could be like his bounce back game kind yeah. of. Yeah. But I, I, it's like I want to pick the Giants because I do think they're better. Yeah, they, they, they looked really good. I'm just scared of Saquon, <laughs> really. That's what I'm scared of because he looks so good, and I just I'm don't. I'm scared of picking my team and then they disappoint me. <laughs> yeah, but um, um, I'm gonna go with no, the Panthers. I guess I gotta keep it realistic, and I'll pick the Giants. I gotta keep it yeah. realistic and not pick who I want to win. Yeah. Or I mean, um, that is who I want to not pick yeah. based on uh, superstition. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna um, go with the Panthers on this one. I think it's a close game, though. Yeah, I do too. Which I I won't be too upset. I because it's like either way because I won't be opposed to the Giants starting out two and but I also don't want the Panthers to start out zero and two. Yeah. So I'd I'd be fine with either way. Yeah, I mean, guess. it'd be all right either way. You you one of your teams will win. Um, yeah. And next up we have the Commanders and the Lions. Now the Lions disappointed me last week. I gave them the benefit of the doubt, and they lost obviously. Yeah, um, but they did come back. They, they seem to do that in week one, the last couple of years with Jared Goff. It's because remember they getting blown out last year by the 49ers, and they brought it within a touchdown. Yeah, and they did the same thing. I think that could have uh, a lot to do with the other team just kind of giving up, like yeah. throwing the towel almost. They won it already. Yeah, um, and on the other hand, the Commanders looked really good. Carson Wentz looked really good. Um, Antonio Gibson looked really good. Yeah, I saw a video. Like, all their receivers. I saw a video of uh, Taylor Heineke in an interview. Somebody asked him if he thought he had a chance to start going into training camp, and yeah. he said that uh, it was not an option for him. <laughs> he yeah. said, you're yeah. paying this guy $30 million. There's no way I'm starting with $2 million. Yeah, so it's, uh, especially with uh, how good Carson Wentz looked. Yeah. If he's looked that good. So I'm going with the Commanders here. Yeah, I'm not going to go with the Lions two weeks in a row and be disappointed. <laughs> And um, now, now the next one yeah. is kind of interesting because I did. I would not have expected it to be this interesting, but I'm putting it down right now. I'm going with the Falcons. I'm putting that out there. I know part of me really wants to pick them because, man. Well, now that I've already selected them, they're going to lose by eighty. So you're probably <laughs> your best bet's probably the Rams, but I, I want the Falcons I to win. I, I really would like to see the Rams start out zero and two. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I. I'll, heck, I'll do it too. I go with the Falcons. I because the Rams did not look that great. Which this could be the game. Again, yeah, like the Bengals. It's just it back, could just but... kind of be like smoke screens though. Because I mean, maybe the Bills are just that much of a better team that they made the Rams look bad. 
Um, it's yeah, kind of hard to tell. Running, the Falcons almost put up 30 points. Uh, Cordero yeah, Patterson well, had, what, 120 rushing yards? Uh, yeah, Marcus Mariota, Mariota did throw a touchdown, but he had 70 200 yards. Um, yeah, uh, so I don't think it's as crazy as it sounds, and I'll go with it. Uh, yeah, we're both going with the Falcons. Second upset, I think. Yeah, I believe so. You got, the, you got the you Giants the and the Falcons, too, right? and I chose the Texans, yeah. Yeah, I chose the Texans too, so. All right. I mean, couple. hopefully they pull off those upsets. I really want one of I want one of my surprise picks to actually work yeah. out this week instead of all of Let's them see. failing. Is this next one a surprise pick? Because I'm going to go with the Seahawks. <laughs> yeah, Whoops, I'm scared though. Like I'm really scared of Geno Smith. I I don't know. I I I'm going to stick with the 49ers because I think they're a good team, and you know I think the conditions last week really didn't favor them. Granted, yeah. the Bears had to play in it too, and they did okay. Uh, but I think the connection between Trey Lance and Debo will only get better. And, you know, they were missing a lot of playmakers. Not that all of them are going to be back, but yeah, Rich, they'll, have an, Kittle's supposed to be back. they'll have another week of everybody practicing together. And like you just said, George Kittle will be back. So, I mean, I like their defense and I like their playmakers. So I'm going to stick with the Niners on here. But like you picked the Seahawks, I would be more than happy to see the Seahawks win this one. Um, yeah. I want to see Geno uh, Smith take them to the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a it's a, a funny sight to see in the bottom right of my screen that the records Seahawks are two and zero and the Forty ers Rams and Cardinals are all yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting to say the least. But, but yeah, I got I got to eat my words. I said I thought Geno Smith would be absolutely terrible, and he proved me dead wrong. Yeah, uh, he proved a lot of people dead wrong. I'm sure plenty yeah. of people lost money on the betting on that game. Yeah, because um, I don't think anybody would have bet for Geno Smith to win that. Yeah, so I I give Geno my respect, and I'm going with the Seahawks this week. Yeah. And so. um, next up, I mean, I'm picking Packers. We we yeah, hate the yeah. Bears around here. I hate the Bears. I always hate the Bears. Um, I'm never gonna pick and, the, and Bears. the Bears. The Bears shocked me last week, but uh, Justin Fields completed less than fifty percent of his passes. Granted, they mm-hmm. were playing in a tsunami. But yeah, I mean, I Aaron Rodgers always bounces back in week two, and I have faith in him to do it again. Um, I don't know how good of a team we're going to be this year, but I think he'll bounce back at least statistically. Yeah, which do you know is Alan Lazard supposed to be back this week? I'm not sure if he's supposed to be back, but I I think I'm hoping there can be a little bit more chemistry. I didn't really like. Um, did you hear Aaron Rodgers came out and said that Amari Rodgers doesn't have a role in the offense? Uh, yeah, he he basically he said that in a live interview about his teammate. Yeah. I didn't really like that, and uh, I kind of wish he would take a step back with how much he's saying about the rookie guys. At least let him build some confidence in the you know the second yeah. year guys. But um, I mean, I know, I know he's Christian Hall of Fame. Watson, but, yeah, Christian Watson. I know he had that big drop yeah. touchdown. Did Romeo Dobbs? I'm not sure. I, I didn't actually watch the game. Um, it wasn't on TV in my area for whatever reason. Uh, for for whatever reason, whenever they have a game on Fox or something, we can only watch like the Panthers or the Falcons and stuff <laughs> in this area. Um, so let's see. Receiving uh, wise, A- AJ Dillon A- had A- five for forty six. Yeah, Romeo Dobbs, um, Romeo, Romeo Dobbs Nation four for thirty seven. Um, Tanya um, did okay. Uh, no man, he threw it to a lot of receivers. Goodness gracious, that's but, crazy. Yeah, I I think Packers will bounce back here. Is it a Sunday night game? Um, I'm not sure. It could very well yeah, be. Yeah, because uh, I saw the replay of the Buccaneers Cowboys game, and this was the Sunday night. They always have, like, they had the Packers and the Lions as a prime time last year. They had the Packers and the Bears as a prime yeah. time last year. I know the Packers and um, Bears usually have at least one Sunday night game. So they they want they want to see Aaron Rodgers yelling at them about how he yeah. owns the Bears again. Yeah. Uh, the, this um, time maybe they'll bleep them out a little bit, but. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm good. We're both going with Bears on or Packers on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm never and, gonna pick the Bears. So. And I'm going with the Vikings for the pie game. I, I think they. I, I said I thought they would come in second in the division, which I still think they could if the Packers work things out. But the Vikings yeah. look like, which um, yeah, I still don't see a lot of people talking about, but they look like definitely potentially top five teams 
through week four. Hey, well, you're exaggerating. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, they won that game, and I, they do look really good. At, obviously, I think the Packers defense is a really good defense, but we decided to have the bold, bold strategy of leaving Justin Jefferson wide open, like 70 <laughs> yards down the field, I think like twice during the game. So um, usually when that's the case of your defense, it makes the other team look really, really, really good. Um, but I, I think the Vikings, if we don't get it together, they're obviously the best team in this division. And yeah. they're going to take it if we don't get our crap together. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with the Vikings on here. Did we choose different on any games this week? I yeah, think we did um, Panthers-Giants might be the only one. Panthers-Giants. Or, no, Se- Seahawks and 49ers we yeah, chose different on. You chose the Saints or the Buccaneers? I chose the Saints on that one. All right, yeah. So, and we have yeah, two. Yeah, you choose the Lions. Yeah, we have two different here. I did I. Oh, did you choose the Eagles or the Vikings? I took Vikings on that final I matchup. I, I think they're probably, like you said, they're a better team than a lot of people expected them to be. Um, yeah. Which, let me see. Uh, I'd say one, maybe three, or I'd say five of the ones that I picked least were upsets, I would say. Yeah, I, I don't know. There's a Giants. I don't know. Is that an upset? I'm, it, <laughs> the the NFL is kind of weird with upsets because, I mean, at the end of the day, every team's a bunch of professional football players. So you feel like anybody yeah. can win any given week. It's not like yeah. um, you're going out there with Alabama versus Mercer or something like that where they have no chance of winning. Um, you just go out there and you play and you have a chance pretty much. Unless you're especially, the, like, especially the 2016 the, Browns or the 2011 Lions or uh, something like that. Especially the Bengals, B-E-N-G-L-E-S. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite team, the Bengals. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, that, that is all the games for this week two. Um, but Thursday night is the Chargers and Chiefs, so look out for that one. That's going to be coming up right after this video, which will probably be I imagine we'll be posting this one around 4 o'clock again. I kind of want to keep that at yeah. the same schedule um, just so it's a consistent every Thursday more or Thursday afternoon at 4. Um, as always, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure to check out Mr. Graves' video. Um, he's my co-host, but he also makes other gaming video type of stuff like that. Link to his channel will be in the description down below. If you're from his video, check out my channel. I make a lot more sports-oriented content, but we collab a good bit, especially with this series every week. Thank you guys all for watching. If you do enjoy, hit the like button and subscribe. Turn post notifications on so you can see both of our videos every time that we post a video. Thank you all for watching, and we shall see you guys next time. Peace. And hopefully our records will be, well. Hopefully I don't go 7-9 uh, and nine again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you didn't pick too many different, so yeah. we'll see. So, yeah, uh, catch you all in the next one.